Ladies and gentlemen, boys and ebbies, welcome back to Warzone. And I did just put out a video going over all kinds of close range and a few long range last week before the update. However, there were some options I did not include that with the patch actually became the best options. So let's break those down. Before we get into it, 93% of my viewers are not subscribed, so please make sure to do so. Some people have been unsubscribed too. It happens to everyone on YouTube. So if you think you're subscribed, just double check real quick. Not a big deal like the video please for the love of god it does so much for getting me out to other people and comment below for the same reason however on that note let's get into this all right so the very first thing i actually wanted to talk about is the mcw 68 because this is statistically the best mid long range option in the game since the season 5 reloaded update upped its fire rate this will kill in four shots if you hit two headshots at any range and at seven if you just hit anywhere and i mean anywhere seven shots to kill this thing is absurd with its new fire rate it fires almost as fast as the stg the only caveat is it's semi-auto and a 60 round mag does not always spawn in so definitely run the 30 let's break this build down all right so we're gonna start with the quartermaster suppressor on just about everything today because we all know how busted it is so quartermaster suppressor we're gonna use the tempest predator long barrel to get aim stability velocity and range to make this thing absolutely clap this is gonna give us 1170 meters per second bullet velocity velocity with just one attachment. You can use the 30 round mag because like I said the 60 won't spawn in all the time. 30 is more than enough even in quads. We're actually going to use the RB Crotalis stock because it's going to give us more recoil control than any other attachment. It gives more than the paracord and we're not worried about the sprint to fire. I have the Forge Tech Delta as my optic or you can use anything from the Eagle's Eye to the RQ9 Recon, the optic that you're comfortable with. However, you are using this as a DMR slash sniper so keep that in mind with your optic choice. The MC W68 is the best mid to long range option outside of a sniper. And then I'm actually pairing that with the best sniper support option in the game, and that is the striker. The standard striker is absolutely absurd. With the nerfs to the static, this is now the absolute best option for sniper support in the SMG category. But for this one, we're going to start with the quartermaster suppressor as always. We're going to throw in the striker recon long barrel for some aim stability, but mainly to push our range and velo. DR6 hand stop to up our mobility ability, aim down and sprint out, the Lockman Mark II light stock for movement, or you can use the ADS rear stock, it is entirely up to you. This gun is extremely fast with both, and then the 48 round mag is more than enough, but if you want the 60, use the 60. The striker is feeling real good, it's always felt good, but it is at the top of the game now, and it is phenomenal. Once again, I did just want to break down kit, because we do this every once in a while to make sure you guys know, smoke grenades are invaluable, there is nothing else that you should use in this spot smoke grenade op to always run smokes thermite is your best throwable unless you're getting sweaty with throwing knives so thermite or throwing knife for perks there's essentially one setup for me and it's the only one that i'm using right now and that is mountaineer fast hands quick fix and flex flex is incredibly valuable this perk is by far the best in category however you can run high alert if you would like quick fix is better than tempered because the second you start putting a plate in you have full health almost immediately immediately or when you kill someone you have full health immediately you can get a tempered vest off the ground and have both fast hands can be swapped out for something like eod or for double time however i just prefer fast hands mountaineer is the best perk one available mountaineer is so incredibly overpowered even with the nerf however for your best ar this season it's actually not the stg the bal 27 is the statistically best mid long range ar in the game it is insane that this gun is as good as it is, but I absolutely love it, and it's a very similar build. Let's break it down. We're going to start with the Quartermaster Suppressor, as always, then we're going to throw the Crown H3 barrel on for stability, range, and velo, because that's what every barrel in this game does. Sandbar, heavy stock, once again, better than the Paracord, better than the SP-10, because you just get more stability and more recoil control. If you need more horizontal recoil control, you can drop this for the F attack sp10 foregrip however the sandbar is your overall best the choreo eagle's eye is what i slapped on here use the optic that you like i'm trying to get used to this one i'm not a big fan of the eagle's eye but i'm weird and then of course we need the 60 round mag because 60 round mag the bow 27 is insane and then the gun that i cannot stop singing its praises the ram 9 is forgotten by like 98 percent of this community but the other two percent absolutely know this is a top three smg in the meta right now the Ram 
SM9 is by far the most aggressive, best SMG in the game. And for this build, once again, we're going to start with the Quartermaster Suppressor. However, we're going to use the Armistice Light Barrel to up our movement speed, aim down sight, and sprint to fire, and not hurt our range. Paracord Grip, because we want the sprint to fire, as well as the horizontal recoil, the motion tack pad, because once again, we want to get even more aggressive, and then the 50 round mag, because it's the largest option we have. 50 is more than enough, even with this high fire rate. The Ram 9, I am absolutely in love with, and I cannot put it down. The only thing I like more is the striker. The Ram 9 behind an AR is my choice. And I mentioned earlier that the Jack Raven kit on the MCW is another phenomenal sniper support option, so let's go ahead and break that down. The MCW Jack Raven. And for this, we're actually going to start with the Shadow Strike Suppressor, because we just simply want to stay off of radar here. We use the RB Precision Heavy Stock. This is going to give 12% recoil control, as well as aim stability, which is absurd. I have the RB Rapid Strike Rear Grip on the gun. However, you could swap this off for an optic if you would prefer to have an optic. I just prefer the aim down sight and sprint to fire bonuses. And then, of course, the 40 round mag is our largest option with the conversion kit. MCW has been good for a very long time. I've kind of been floating around the same build for a while, but I think I finally got it nailed down. This thing is still absurd. Actually, I think it's a little better since the patch. And then I've got that paired with my personal favorite sniper for the season. This is better than the Car 98 in every single way. Velo is better. It has the same one shot range, and it just is all around a better gun. That being the XRK Stalker. And with this build, we're actually starting with the XRK Stoic 4 Integrally Suppressed Barrel. This is going to give us the maximum boost to range and velocity without using the long barrel and absolutely destroying our aim down sight speeds to the point that we look like we have a cat AMR. At that point, just use the cat AMR. FSS Ole V Laser. This is for stability, aim down, and sprint to fire. Primarily the stability. Got the high grain rounds in, range and velo, of course. I've got the Imperium scope on this gun because I like this scope. You can do that. You can use the fast bolts or you can use the ADS rear grip. Then we're going to finish off with the Ural M stock because we need as much stability in this gun as possible just in case we need to take a second before hitting a shot and to make sure our flick shots absolutely hit their target. This stalker is so incredibly good. I cannot sing its praises enough. And hey, if you're still here, that means you definitely like my content. So if you haven't liked the video already, make sure to do so and subscribe to find your way back. And let's finish out this list. However, I do have another MCW in here and this is the mid long range because once again, they buffed this gun yet again, like the seventh time in a row. It just keeps getting better and it actually feels really good. And with this build, we're going to start with the Quartermaster Suppressor as always. Then we're going to use the 16 and a half inch Cyclone Barrel. This is for range, velo, and stability as always. High grain, ammunition, range, and velo. I have the KR Mortis 2.5 times as my optic. Use the Eagle Eye, use whatever you like. And the 60 round drum is the option that we have here because 60 rounds is 60 rounds. MCW feels really good and this thing has a very, very competitive TTK now. And then I have that paired with our new SMG in the Static HV, which is a good gun still, though it did get a nerf. It feels a lot more like the Horus, at least with this build. I am absolutely loving this gun still. However, if you want to swap out for the long barrel, feel free to do so. Let's break it down and I'll show you what I mean. So as always, Quartermaster Suppressor is where we're starting because our guns have no recoil this way. Paracord grip because we want that maximum sprint of fire as well as removing horizontal recoil just in case we get caught in a pinch in a 20 to 25 meter range fight. It's not a big deal. I have the auger 840 light barrel on this gun. However, you could easily swap that auger out or the Garrett barrel. You're just trading a bit of movement and aim down for range. It's the only change you're going to make. I just prefer that movement speed of 7.4 meters per second in tax sprint and 3.9 while ADS. We're then throwing on the jack glassless optic because the irons look good on this gun. They just feel weird. If you don't need the glassless, you can absolutely run the stock of the SL Tac Hive V4 or the Guardian. Either one of these will work with our undergrip. I would actually prefer the Guardian over the Tac Hive personally. But once again, if you want more sprint to fire, use the Tac Hive. And then finishing off, we have the Warcat 90 as our grip on the rear of the gun. Sprint to fire, aim down sight. You know the drill. This thing is incredibly aggressive. You're zooming, you're shooting, you're frying, you're flying. It is absolutely incredible. And then, all right, this is the largest surprise of the season for me at a gun that is at the absolute top of the meta for the first time since the game came out. It has been absolutely useless since 
since then, but now it is incredible and it's without the aftermarket part. That being the Pulmiat 762 with its fire rate boost, it is absolutely incredible. And we're gonna start with the Quartermaster Suppressor, as always, to remove what little recoil this gun does have. We're gonna use the Pyro Heavy Barrel to push our range and our velo as far as we can. The Hound 9G foregrip for stability mainly, however, we're gonna get some recoil control out of this. You cannot put the Paracord, the SP10 on this gun, so the Hound 9G is your best option. I have the AOK RQ9 Recon as my optic. Once again, use what you like. Then we're gonna use the Not Z3 rear grip because this is one of the few guns that has a rear grip that gives recoil control and aim down sight to make this thing absolutely incredible. The Pull Me Out is an absolute dream. Just don't get caught out in a reload. And being as good as it is, I have it paired with the Reclaimer 18 because you can absolutely just street sweep with the street sweeper. It's great for clearing buildings. This has a two shot range of 14 meters and a three shot range of 22 meters with this build. The Reclaimer is insane right now. We're getting ready to get an akimbo attachment for it. So with this build, it's the build I've given out a few times before. Bryson Choke to bring our shots as tight together on the pellets as we can. Discourager 900 heavy barrel to give us our range and our velo on those shells. DR6 hand stop to up our movement, aim down and sprint out. We've got the center mass grip tape for aim down sight and sprint to fire. Then we have the hinge LAF light stock. You want to go stockless, that's up to you. Either way, you're just upping your movement, your aim down and your sprint out. I just like having the iron because this is not a tax stance build. If you go in a tax stance, you only have a two pump range of about eight meters. Much rather have that 14 meter range. Reclaimer 18 is absolutely able to compete with any of the top tier SMGs right now. And I love a good shotgun meta. And then, all right, I'm going to throw on a bonus here. This is definitely not top tier meta, but it is in the meta. I would say it's A tier, not S tier, but it's a Modern Warfare 2 gun from mid long range and it absolutely fries. The M4 is back and it feels incredible. We're going to start with the Quartermaster Suppressor as always. However, we're going to throw on the Night Tower 20 inch long barrel to up our range and velo as well as get recoil control there as well. FTAC SP10 angled foregrip so we can get the aim stability as well as horizontal recoil control to make this thing absolutely hit every shot. It's absurd how little recoil the M4 has now. AOK RQ9 Recon is the optic that I'm using. Once again, use the Eagle Eye or whatever you like. Then a 60 round mag because it's the largest option we have. M4 feels real damn good and I'm very happy about it. And all right, so I was using the Lockman sub and having a great time. However, the Striker 9 is just a reskin of the Lockman sub. So I threw the Striker 9 on and gave it a whirl and it felt fantastic. It's the same build I had on the Lockman, so keep that in mind. If you want to run the Lockman, it's the same build, but let's break it down. So we're starting with the ECS Requieter Suppressor here so we can get some ADS out of our suppressor so we can get a faster aim down sight and stay off the mini map. The skeletal vertical grip is going to give us once again aim down sight and it's going to give us some vertical recoil control. 50 round drum is a must here. 40 feels kind of weird with the TTK being as high as it is. Sack and ZX rear grip is going to give us the recoil control that we need and then the factory stock to give us just a little bit more aim down sight. Once again, just like with the Striker 45, you want to use the movement stock, you absolutely can. I just prefer having the extra ADS on this one. Hyper aggressive gun, treat this like it's a Horus, get in their face and make it personal. Striker 9 feels real good behind an AR, LMG, etc. Would not run as sniper support. And all right, boys, that's going to do it for me. So until next time, leave me alone and like the video. Oh, I'm trying.